Maureen Jackson here. Did you miss me? Today's vlog is a free-for-all, so I'm going to get you caught up on where I've been while I've been missing the last few weeks. Um, I First off, change right now let me get you caught up we started that on the first um it was a, a writing challenge for book bloggers and writers um not connected with the rebels but um a couple of us are participating sarah is helping me to run it along with gina rosati and it has been let me just say amazing i cannot believe the response i can't believe how Everyone has been putting so much effort into this challenge. So many people have lost weight um, for those that it was their goal. Others have noticed big changes in their health. I know someone on my team has given up smoking for an entire month already, which I just think is unbelievably cool. Um, myself, I've lost eight pounds this month, and it's all been through exercise and eating right. Uh, my place has been clean because that was my good habit to change um, which is a miracle basically because when I'm on a writing deadline I'm a complete slob I mean let's be honest here I'm really a slob anyways but um, I really have made an effort every day I pick up my house I'm eating healthier I'm doing Weight Watchers by the way I'm um, just taking better care of myself. I'm sleeping better. I've noticed that I have way more energy. Um, some of you have asked if we're going to do this challenge again. Uh, the first one is up the first week of March. We're thinking about it. It's not for sure yet. I think we're going to do a poll of the people who are participating now and see if everyone, you know, if they feel like it was worth it, if they want to do it again before we actually move forward with it. It's. I, I want to see how people do through the end, if it's too long or if we need to shorten it or what. Um, in other news, I'm on a major writing deadline, the sequel for Touched is Due, and it's been hard. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it has been really hard. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys tried to write a sequel, but man, so much more respect for JK Rowling now. And I even had the whole thing outlined and still it has been a monster to write. Um, to find those same voices again and to make sure that the characters <laughs> seem real and, and fit with the first book. And then also to set up what the third book is going to be. I just, I have so much more respect for those writers who are doing these trilogies and I know sometimes I would bash them and be like, man, book two is just not as good as book three. And now I just have a little bit more compassion. <laughs> it's really hard to write a sequel. Um, and it was really hard to do this while on change right now. I mean, when I go into deadline mode, I'm like knocking back the coffees. <laughs> the other my house becomes a pigsty because I stopped cleaning um, I'm eating just crap food because I'm catching things on the go between my day job and the writing time and I'm eating at Starbucks or I'm just grabbing fast food or you know throwing something in the microwave and I still have had to put a lot of thought into my meals um, cleaning my place, exercising. Oh gosh, I'm so bitter about it. It's like a half hour every day that cuts into my writing time. It's ridiculous, I know, because it's all contributing to my health. Um, even the, the bedtime, <laughs> making sure I get six hours of sleep, I'm kind of bitter about that because, you know, I have deadline and I have to be writing, but really, what good am I if I'm running on four or five hours of sleep a night? It just... I know that in my head, but somehow it's not computing. So change right now has been really hard to do while I've been on this deadline. Um, other stuff, um, because of everything I've had going on, completely neglected my family, <laughs> neglected school, uh, neglected you guys, because <laughs> I haven't been around. 
I'm trying to be better. I'm hoping this book is due the 6th of February, and I'm hoping that once it's done and off my plate, that I can go back to my normal schedule and, and things will be less stressful. Um, in addition, um, really amazing news. I, in July, am going to Germany for a book signing. So that's to support the German launch of Touched, which happens in February. Uh, so if you live over there, come out and meet me. It'll be in Stuttgart, I believe. We're still working out the details, and I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Um, but that's about it. That's all I have to share. I think that's enough. I've rambled on for five minutes. So <laughs> take care. It's good to talk to you again. Bye. By the way, I got a haircut. I was just looking a little too much like Justin Bieber for my own good.